hello, a good Friday morning to you all. I am Jonathan Mathis, the sports judge. Welcome. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, it's always a pleasure. I talk sports over here. You know how we do it. What's going on, everyone? Hope you guys are having an awesome Friday. I know I am. The Zach Wilson era added another dark chapter. But him being benched can mark the end to a dark chapter. We'll talk about that this morning. But first, I want to remind everyone to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Uh, for more videos, you guys know where you guys can find me, right here on this channel. Uh, let's get right to it. New York Jets fans have had it with Zach Wilson uh, they're clearly over him. He is not the quarterback moving forward. I think much of that has been quite evident in recent weeks. And Jets fans, they mercing, mercilessly booed their much maligned quarterback. You know, they're just fed up with it. Um, Boris and Rowdy uh, fans cheered when Wilson got benched in favor of a little-known uh, backup Four, four, four string quarterback, by the way, Chris Stryvler. Crazy. This, this reminds me of the time that Jeff Garcia got booed or cheered when he went down with an injury. That's, that pretty much describes the situation in New York. You know, the Jets have fallen on bad times because of their quarterback and because of the inconsistent play from Zach Wilson. And Zach Wilson is not a guy who's taking his career very seriously. You know, he, he's he's mentioned in the same breath as Ryan Leaf now. I mean, he's starting to look like a bus. And he can be bounced out of the league really quick. It's not looking good for him at all. This is a kid that still needs to grow up, that still needs to mature, and I'm not sure if he's going to do that. But the Jets have a history of not drafting great quarterbacks. They have done some dumb they have done some dumb things in the past. They've made some dumb decisions come draft night. You know, and this was probably one of them. And a lot of people you know, they weren't sold on Zach Wilson. A lot of people said this had um, potential to be a bust, and it's looking that way. Fans have been down on Wilson all year. It all stems from his immature reaction to a loss earlier in the season that landed him on the bench. And then you add the fact that he's inconsistent on the field. Sometimes I don't even know what the hell he's doing in the pocket. I don't even think he knows what he's doing in a pocket. And now the Thursday night's debacle against the Jacksonville Jaguars really puts a damper on his career. I'm just wondering how long he's going to last in the NFL. This could be the this could be the final straw. This could be the end of the Zach Wilson era. In New York, we might not see him again. And I heard during the post game, Tony Gonzalez, the Hall of Fame tight end, talking about it um, after the game. And he said that, you know, Jets fans need to be a little bit patient. They drafted him high in the draft. They, they selected him number two overall in the 2000, I mean, uh, the 2021 NFL draft. And, and they should be. Uh, patient. I don't know if the fans are patient anymore. I think the patience has worn thin. Fans are ready to move on from this guy. They're ready to move. They're ready to kick him off the team, and they're going to run him out of town because he is clearly, clearly folding under the pressure in New York. The bright lights seems to be too much for Zach. Zach Wilson. This is a disaster area. It's been disastrous for Zach Wilson. He's just so inconsistent that it's difficult to get any kind of concrete read on what kind of player he is. 
He looks terrible. He looks horrible. He's been completely lost and in over his head. He's arrogant. He needs to humble himself. I'm not sure he can do that. He's very immature. We know that about him. We know all these things about him. He's a self-entitled little jerk. And I know I'm going hard on him. I know I'm coming down hard on him, but it is what he is. He's a spoiled brat. He comes from a family with money, with wealth, you know, and he thinks that he's entitled. You have to work for it. It's a big, it's a big boys league in the NFL. But, I mean, he he's he he's looking more and more like Ryan Leaf, and it's bad. I he's definitely he's definitely not the long term solution in New York. Clearly not the long term solution in New York. He has lost the trust of the fans. He has lost the trust of Robert Sala. Robert Sala doesn't even trust him to lead his offense. This is the second time that Robert Sala has benched him. So what does that tell you? And I think moving forward, once Mike White gets healthy, he's going to be the starting quarterback for the New York Jets. He's going to be the one commanding that offense, driving the team down the field, because he has established himself in that role. And he has clearly earned that role. So once he gets healthy, the Jets will have a better option at quarterback, and that will be Mike Wilson. I mean, not Mike Wilson, Mike White. Zach Wilson got my head spinning this morning. Just talking about Zach Wilson. But Mike White. Mike White will be serving in the starting role as the quarterback moving forward once he gets healthy. He has proven himself. He has earned the respect of his teammates in that locker room. You know, he has uh, really given that team a a spark, has provided a lot of offense for that team, something that Zach Wilson has not done. And, you know, the Jets still has shown an inability to draft the right quarterback. Zach Wilson is, again, starting to look like a bust. It's scary. It's a real travesty for the New York Jets. And I can understand why the fans are, you know, voicing their displeasure. Because after a while, it gets exhausting, right? You get tired of the same results. And that seems like that's the only thing that's holding that Jets team back is the quarterback position right now. The, the, the poor quarterback play is what's holding that team back. Would it have been different if Mike White was healthy and ready to play? Sure, it would have been different because the kid is tough. He's a warrior out there. He can handle being on the big stage. He can engineer successful drives. And put his team in a good position to win football games. Unlike Zach Wilson, who is not the guy everyone thought he would be. Don't believe the Zach Wilson hype. Don't buy into it. It's utter nonsense. This guy is not built for the NFL. He has not translated well to the NFL. Maybe he was a star at BYU. A lot of people felt he was overrated there. A lot of people felt that he wouldn't be able to translate to the next level. And it is showing. The jury is in on Zach Wilson. We have reached the verdict. And Zach Zach Wilson is guilty on all charges. I'll see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Take care, everyone.